white and wide, blood of Christ the crucified. From your hands, your feet, your side, Jesus, I trust in you. And verse 3, For we who have believed do enter into that rest, even as he has said, I swear in my wrath they shall not enter into my rest, though the works were finished from the foundation of the world. The works of God have already been finished. Jesus was the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. God, as soon as God spoke it, it was so. He spoke the end, the Bible says, from the beginning. The whole plan. He ordained a Savior before Adam ever fell. The whole plan was spoken into existence. Nothing could stop it. It was just so, because God said it. And everything that we see now that's coming to pass is coming to pass because God said it. The works were finished from the foundation of the world. Whose works do you want to enter into? You can enter into God's works through faith in His promises. You can be a vessel of honor. You can be a vessel that is that one quarter that conquers Satan, that knows they can conquer Satan. Or you can be the three quarters who are lukewarm and have their idol of religion and have no sword at all. They don't believe in the full gospel, which you're going to need where you're going. They don't even need, they don't believe in the infilling of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of the gifts. So they're not empowered to walk where they need to go. You know, this rest was a rest from their enemies. Enter into the rest. Well, why, why would we rest from our enemies? Because they're dead. That's why. Jesus gave us total victory over them. Jesus said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. That doesn't leave any for the devil, folks. And then he turned to his disciples and he delegated that authority to them. What you bind on earth is bound in heaven. What you loose on earth is loose in heaven. If any two of you agree is touching anything, it shall be done by our Father in heaven. As the Father sent me, so send I you. Jesus had authority. And he spoke it. And the devils trembled. And that same Jesus lives in you. That same Jesus, to the extent that you humble yourself to the Word of God and you believe the Word... And you're becoming the Word made flesh to that extent that Jesus lives in you. All you got to do is cooperate with Him. And we're told, how can two walk together except they be agreed? You want that Jesus to live in you, to conquer your enemies, to speak out of you, to swing the sword and to do the works? Then you've got to come into agreement with Him. When you read the Word of God, repent. That's what the Word of God is for, is to cause us to repent. What it says is so. First, we have to agree with it so that we don't restrain it from coming out of us. You know, when you read some things and you think that it's strange, who's really strange? You are. (laughs) If you're uncomfortable saying anything that's in the Word of God, if you're uncomfortable repeating it, this is how you know You've been taken captive by false religion and false doctrine. Is because some of the Word of God is not comfortable in your mouth. You wouldn't naturally even let it flow out of you. How can two walk together except they be agreed? So, when you think that that's strange, you're strange. You know, God warned His people about bringing forth strange children that don't look like their father. So if we think it's strange, the problem is with us. It's not with God. You know, um, being a Christian is very unlike the world. It's very contrary to the world. They're total opposites. If you want to please the world, you can't be a Christian. If you don't want to be sanctified from the ways of the world, you can't be a Christian. You can call yourself a Christian. But you can't be one. 
because Christian means Christ-like. We have to be willing to lose our life in order to gain our life. We have to be willing to be odd, peculiar. He calls his people peculiar people, strange to the world, because they're totally the opposite. You know, there's only two bodies in this earth. Jesus said there are two men in the earth. There's just two men in the earth, Christ and Antichrist. There's not going to be anything in the middle. He calls that lukewarm. So we have to make up our mind. Are we going to lose our life in order to gain our life? You know, the outer man's decaying, the inner man's being renewed day by day. As you lose ground to self, you gain ground to the spiritual man, who is Jesus Christ, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Jesus is not going to have any problem with this warfare that's coming. And if Jesus lives in you, he's not going to have any problem conquering this, you see. But how can two walk together except they be agreed, Amos said, right? So we have to come into agreement. We have to read this word. We have to repent. We have to change your mind. That's what repent means, change your mind. When you read this word, okay, I don't care what my church says. I see what this says. I agree with this. And when you come into agreement with it, it becomes comfortable. You can say it. Other people might think you're weird. <laughs> but that's okay. They're supposed to. That's part of it, you see. But when it's comfortable for you to believe and to speak all of the Word of God, there's so many people, so many of God's people, they can't speak parts of the Word. They read it, they read right over it. It makes them uncomfortable. They jump over that. Well, they, don't, they jump on down to something else, you know. They're uncomfortable about it. That just lets you know you've been taken captive. You know, repent. When you read the Word of God, read all of it, believe it, meditate on it. As the Lord told me many years ago, don't eat like a hog. Eat like a cow. You know, a cow is a ruminant, right? Choose it, brings it back up, choose it again, brings it back up, choose it again. <laughs> you know, a hog, it just goes in one end and out the other one, you know. Doesn't even get digested. You know, we, this this has to be a part of us. This word has to be a part of us. You know, we meditate on it. We think on it. We want we want to be disciples of Jesus. We want to learn to walk in His steps, right? When that word just comes flowing out of you like a river of living water, look out, devil! There isn't anything he can do with that. You know, that's what Jesus said: "He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also." Right? And he said, "Out of your innermost being shall flow rivers." Of living water, this spake he of the Spirit, that they that believed on him were to receive. And Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. When your words agree with his words, your words are his spirit. See, the Lord recreates in us his spirit by his words. And we're able to recreate Jesus by speaking his words, because we're supposed to sow the same seed that he sowed, that his disciples sowed, that those apostles sowed. We're supposed to sow that seed. The word of God. Never depart from the word of God. When God's people learn that, religion crumbles. Religion's going to crumble anyway, because it's got no defense against what's coming. Throughout history, Religion has crumbled before the advances of the devil. There's no defense but the Word of God. No sword, no helmet, no shield, but the Word of God. And so, this is an awesome... I mean, use Psalm 91 like a sword. You know, it's a, it's a defense. Claim it. Claim Psalm 91. You know? Don't let anybody talk you out of it. It's, it's saved many lives. Many lives. This is for today. This is a part of the blessings of God. You know, um, I'll just read you something real quick like Luke chapter 10 before I run out of time here. Luke 10, 17. And the 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject unto us in thy name. Wouldn't that be great if everybody learned that lesson, right? 
even the demons are subject to us in thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan fallen as lightning from heaven. Well, he was talking about exactly what they were doing, is casting him down. Behold, I have given you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all, all the power of the enemy. Some people think Jesus used that word all a little loosely. I mean, honestly, they do. No, he means exactly what he says, and we've got to learn that. Over all the power of the enemy. You have authority over all the power of the enemy. Authority is the right to use power or restrain power. Authority. I'd rather have authority. In fact, you can even have authority to use the devil's power. The Apostle Paul did that several times. Turn people over to Satan for the destruction of the flesh so that the spirit would be saved in the day of the Lord. He used the devil's power. The devil couldn't resist him. He had to do what he told him to, you know. And um, it's the same today. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me, Jesus said. Go ye therefore, you know. So he delegated that authority to them to go and to use his power. You have the authority to use God's power. That's what the Word is all about. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Somebody whose mind is not renewed, they're not trustworthy. They can't use power. They do foolish things. They would do foolish things. So when we repent and we accept the Word of God as our Word, our thought, our belief, we're in agreement with Jesus. Then two can walk together. Then Jesus is doing the works through you. You're yoked up to Jesus. Take my yoke. He said, that's a zugos. That's the... Yoke two things together, you and him, you see. Okay. And so he says, to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall in any wise hurt you. Nothing shall. Do you believe that? Practice imagining that you believe that. <laughs> think about it. Imagine what would you think if you really believed that nothing shall in any wise hurt you. Oh, praise God. Well, I just that's your homework, okay? God bless you, saints. Thank you for joining us today, and um, we'll do this again. My Lord Jesus, oh Jesus, I trust in you. I trust in you. I trust in you.